In this lesson, we're gonna start writing some code. So we're gonna create a scene and we're also going to create the scene manager. So to do this first, we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call this folder here, scenes. And then let's create a new header file. So we'll go here, header file, and we'll make sure we're using the source directory slash scenes. And then we're gonna call this one here, reactive circle.h. Yep, and now that we've created that, we are going to include, uh, so of main dot h, and we're also going to include OFX scene manager dot h. Yep, and now this will be public class reactive circle, and then we will inherit from, oops, sorry, this isn't public class, this should just be class, and then we will inherit from public OFX scene. Then we will do that, and now we need our public and our private. So for our private, we're going to need string text and float circle radius. And now that we have that, we're gonna need our public, which is our constructor. So reactive circle. Our deconstructor, which is reactive. And then we are going to need another constructor class. We're gonna call this one reactive circle and we're gonna send a string and we'll send a float, which will be the circle radius. And now that we've done that, we are going to uh, set the values of the text and circle radius. So we do this by just going this circle radius equals circle radius and this text equals text. And then now we are going to need a void draw class, which we will just have as an override. And then for this one, we will need to set the color green and draw a circle and text. So we'll do this by going OF set color. And we wanna go uh, OF color green. Then OF draw a circle. And then we wanna use OF get width, divide that by two, then OF get height, divided by two. So that will position it in the center of the screen. So then once we've done that, we wanna set our radius to circle radius. And then once we've done that, that is all for that class there. So now we're going to go into our of app dot h and that one there needs a OFX scene manager. So that should, oops, oh, slowing down, yep. There we go, we're gonna call that guy scenes and we just need to include OFX scene manager dot H and that there should in theory oh, yep there we go so now that's done we are going to go into our of app CPP and we will just need to go into look at the setup class so here we are going to need to set our background black which is zero. 
and then let's create our scenes. Let's create two scenes just for this to start with. Let's make that a shared pointer of reactive circle. Oops, so to do this, we're going to need to go ofab.h hash include scene slash reactive circle dot h. Save that guy and then go back here. And now we should be able to do that and we should be able to just call this one circle effect. And then let's go equals make shared um, reactive circle. Then let's send the text of page one and let's set our float to 100.0f. And now let's create another page and that would just be the same reactive circle. So we go reactive circle and call this one test page as we'll delete it later and make shared reactive circle. Let's call this one page two and let's alternate. Oops. And let's alternate the size of this guy. So we'll just make it 200.0 F. Yep. And now after this, we're going to need to add our scenes to the scene manager. Scenes dot add scene. And then circle effect. And then scenes dot add scene test page. So after that, we are going to need to set our transitions and the duration of those transitions. So to do that, we are going to use scenes.setTransmission mode, and that will be OFX scene transition fade. So then after that one, we're going to need scenes.set scene duration. And then we're going to have a draw in sec of 0.1f and a draw out of 0.1f. So now that we've done that, we need to set up our scenes with scenes dot set up and then of get width for our total height of for our total width of the screen and of get height for the total height. Yep, so that's all for our setup. And now for the update, we're just going to need scenes.update here. And then scenes.draw for our draw function. And then we have our key released, which we are going to go if key is equal to one. Then we want to go scenes.change scene and zero. For the first scene and then if key is equal to two then we want to go scenes dot change scene one so that should allow us now to run our project and it looks like it's building and no errors that's good so now we can see our first circle and our second circle oh and we've forgotten to add some text so let's go back to our reactive circle page and let's go of um sorry of draw bitmap string So now we just need to go, let's just set it 50, 50 for where it will be. And let's just go text and oh, wrong way around. That should be text to begin with and then 50 and then 50. Uh, oh, forgot the draw. Yep. And now let's run that. Yep, 
So it looks like it's building. Yep, looks like it's built, cool. So then we got page one and page two. Yep, so now we've implemented a scene manager and two scenes. So that's all for the first stage of the project. And next stage, we're gonna work on adding the code for audio, for getting the audio for our microphone input and showing a reactive circle effect for that.